the call of the big white. As the days pass, the heartbeat quickens. It's time. Time to face those legendary slopes. To race down the mountain in four different disciplines. And with the Winter Olympics on the far horizon, this season will be more competitive than ever. Watch it with the one and only Didier Couche as your guide. The Alpine Skiing World Cup, live from Beaver Creek with the men's Super G, Friday evening at 5.15 on British Eurosport. Welcome back to the second part of the program. We're in Delray Beach, Florida. And we're with Chris Abbott talking about another shining star of the women's game. Here's more about Serena Williams. Well, we know Serena had a great year. In fact, she has 17 Grand Slams and she is maybe reaching yours at 18. Are we nervous about this? No. <laughs> no. No, I mean, I mean, she deserves it. I mean, it's like, you know, there's no competition, I no. think, when it comes to the number of Grand Slams. I mean, she clearly is the greatest player of this generation and she deserves it. And I think she can even go further, you know, by challenging Steffi's of 22. I mean, to me, if her body holds up and she keeps up that motivation, she could definitely play another three years and, and pass up 22 Grand Slams. Yeah, so what is it in her game? What is it that she's improved? I mean, well, obviously the serve. First of all, what makes her dominant is her power. I mean, when you look at the next tier and you look at Azarenka, Bria Sharapova, I mean, they don't have the power in every shot. And I think it's the serve. The serve will win her a lot of easy points and her power, her mobility, her anticipation is very good. And I think what she's worked on really is, you know, you see her on the court always putting her hand down is, is really to stay calm and to be cool under pressure. I think that's what she's really worked on. All right, well, it's time for me to go on court and try to explain exactly what you're talking about and see how Serena is still the dominant player that she is. And it's here on the tennis court that I'm going to tell you about Serena's strengths, her improvements, and what makes her the best player in the world. The biggest weapon in Serena's game is definitely the serve. In the first serve, she can hit it flat and hard, and she can place it, and therefore she has a lot of aces. She also has a very good slice serve that brings her opponents wide out of the court and opens up the other side. She can also kick the first serve, and therefore bring her opponents further back. All this because her second serve is so reliable. And also there, she can slice it, she can hit it in the middle of the court, and she can kick it up high. So very difficult for opponents to step in and do something with it. There is no major difference in the technique that she uses. The right foot comes in behind the left foot in a very smooth manner. Very similar to Maria Sharapova, Lina, but it's more rhythmic, and therefore there's more relaxed power. It's her court position when she returns that intimidates her opponents. When she returns the first serve, she stands really close to the baseline. And for a second serve return, she's two or three steps inside the baseline. And then don't forget, she still takes another step towards the ball when she hits it. Therefore, the ball comes back to her opponents much quicker than they're used to. It's more difficult to return that close inside the court, but Serena is so strong, especially in her upper body, and she's got such clean technique that she hits the middle of the racket anyway, and therefore, her opponents panic. Her two-handed backhand has always been one of the best in the women's game, but it's her forehand side that has improved the most. And it's been done through a slight change of technique, which is able to put more topspin on the ball by brushing at the back of the ball and keeping it higher over the net. Therefore, she can push her opponent back, and she can also hit short, low cross courts and open the court that way. She sometimes even prefers to run around her backhand to hit her forehand, and therefore, she controls the game. She doesn't hit as many winners on the forehand side as she used to, but she's able to create more openings and put more pressure on her opponent.
that's not the only improvement she has made. She's also added a drop shot. And it's not like you can just start hitting drop shots. You have to practice that, and there has to be a plan. And she's much better at that and uses it much more often. She's always been a good volleyer, but lately she's looking more comfortable when she does come into the net. Maybe because she plays quite a lot of doubles still with her sister Venus. Well, for me, it was impossible to improve into my 30s, at least as a tennis player. I think I improved as a human being and Good as a you. husband. <laughs> uh, but with Serena, obviously the serve, it's an obvious thing. But what about the other technical things, like the return of serve? She stands inside the baseline. She stands nearly just behind the service line. The great thing about Serena is her early preparation. Mm. If you watch her, I mean, that as soon as that ball is being hit from her opponent's racket, she already has her racket back, and mm. she's already seeing where the ball is heading. So I think it's her anticipation and her early preparation and you know, because of her serve winning so many free points, she can afford to take more chances on the return serve. Mm. It seems she improved her forehand. Yeah. Her forehand was always sort of in and out, and now she's able to put some more spin on Spin on. I think that's, I think um, Patrick Rontaglou probably had a lot to do with that. She is putting more topspin. She's clearing the net by with a bigger margin, and uh, she's not making as many errors. And, and I think that... It's interesting, I asked her at the beginning of the year, what is your goal this year in 2013? And she said, to cut down on the errors. Mm. And that's, exa I mean, that's funny to hear from such a big, powerful, aggressive player, but that's exactly what she did. Mm. All right, well, it's time to take our last break. I know you're not gonna go anywhere because I'm not gonna let you, but uh, last break, don't go anywhere. <laughs> in our final part, we'll be talking to two other Grand Slam winners of 2013, Azarenka and Barton.